What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. Welcome back to my collect stuff. I am going back to my storage unit because I found out this week that Marvel cards were like this big thing now. And I don't know if I'm late to the game, but I kind of thought they would be. Not that I have any Marvel cards, but I found out that the Deadpool rookie card is going up in value and they're selling for like 30 to $60 raw. And for some reason, if you get it graded and it comes out like a 10, I've seen people asking like $10,000 or best offer for that card. And I think the only way you can get that Deadpool rookie card, I think it's from 91, is in the uh, poly bag uh, X-Force number one comic book if you guys remember that because they printed a ton of them uh, and I believe I have a couple copies of X-Force number one still polybagged and I, I know there's some cards in there I don't know if they're Deadpools or not so I'm gonna go to the storage unit and uh, see if I got any of those Deadpool cards in with those X-Force comic books so let's go take a look and we'll see what we get and if I got anything good, and I'll uh, maybe I'll send them in, and get them graded, and maybe I'll make ten thousand dollars. Who knows? But uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button too, okay? Because we're we're still trying to grow this channel. Uh, all the uh, support is appreciated. So when you're done, or now, or whenever, hit that subscribe button. It's easy to do, and this way it'll uh, let you know when I have future videos too. Anyways. Let's go to that storage unit. Let's go see what I got for those X-Force comics and what cards I have in the bags. Okay, we'll see you soon. All right, we are here in the storage building and we are gonna see if we got any of those Deadpool comic books, uh, not, not comic books, Deadpool uh, rookie cards. I can figure out how to open this. Right, so we are looking for the X-Force comic books. X-Force number one. I think they would be in here if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at that. We got a uh, Maximum Carnage Spider-Man. That's the complete set right there. Look at that, nice. Actually, I got a couple of those, huh? I should probably, probably maybe send that in the grade because uh, <clears throat> Let me take this mask off. Probably send those in to get graded because the movie's coming out soon with Maximum Carnage. Oh. Anyways, let's look and see if we got these X-Men. I think that's what these are right here. One. Oh. Let's see. That one does not have the card. Oh, there's a, a variant edition of X-Force 1. Ooh, look at that one. Second appearance of Deadpool. Nice. All right. Let's see. What do we got in this first one? How do we know? Oh, it's not. It's not Deadpool. Shatterstar. So that's not the one we're looking for. How many other chances do we have here? Oh, jeez. So I have a couple here. There's one that's sealed. There's another one sealed. Another one sealed. Ooh, I got quite a bit. What is that? This one's actually open with the card. What do we got here? The X-Force team, so no Deadpool in that one. And that one does not have the card. So we have four chances here for Deadpool card. 
not the Deadpool card. That's the X-Force team again. We're down to three. Come on, Deadpool. There he is. Right there, Deadpool. That's nice, huh? Mint condition in the package. Looks like it's pretty centered, right? I don't know, it's hard to tell with these cards, but it is a mint condition Deadpool. Marvel Comics X-Force card. So I'll be bringing that one home. Two more chances to get another one. Nope, Sunspot and Gideon. And last chance, is it gonna be a Deadpool? No, Cable. But still, I'm sure if you get these graded, uh, that could be a good card to have, Cable. So, you know, one is not bad at all. One Deadpool card is not bad at all. I'll take it. I was hoping to have another one in there, but I am lucky enough to have one. So one is better than none, and it's in good shape from what I can see. So I'm taking this one home with me, and uh, I don't know. I'm going to think about what I want to do with it. Maybe I'll probably send it in to uh, CGC or PSA. One of the two. I think I'd rather have it graded by CGC just because it's comic related. But uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. I had a lot of copies of this book. Uh, I wish it would. I wish the book itself was worth a little bit more. But you know, it's good that I did have the copies because I have that Deadpool card. What else is in this in this box? I think I have some Venom comics in here. I'm take a look at real quick. So I just wanted to look through these Venom books real quick to see if there's anything that I want to send in. They are in here. That's a True Believers issue. That's not the original of that one. Also, True Believers. That's a True Believers Venom. She Venom. Wish it was the original. It's a nice one. First Host, number one. First host number two. Number three, it's a cool cover. There's gotta be a way to. That's a nice one there. Venom first host number three. I think that's the first appearance of Sleeper. The Sleeper symbiote. Two of those, three of those. Four of those. Number four, first cover appearance of the sleeper. There's another one. Got a couple of those. Gosh, four of them. Five of them. Wow, that's a nice Venom cover right there. Look at that. If you guys like Venom uh, and you like covers of Venom, uh, the first host Venom covers are pretty nice. That one's amazing. Variant edition. That's awesome with the skull coming out. Venom 150. 155. That's kind of cool with him holding the green goblin. Or hobgoblin, sorry. And rhino. It's a nice Venom cover. Nativity. It's a verse, uh, first baby symbiote, I believe. Infant. Infant symbiote. <laughs> couple of those. Kind of cool. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, Venom number one, variant edition, signed by Donnie Cates. I got that at the Miami um, Comic Con. I think it was in Miami. He was signing books. It's pretty sweet. There's another one, Venom number one, signed by Donnie Cates, right there. Probably should send those into CBCS. There's a third one there, it's a Virgin variant. Signed by Donnie Cates. Uh, and this is a Venom number one, signed by Greg Horn. Also got that at the uh, Comic-Con, his autograph right there. Ooh, look at that one. 
Got our number four, Origin of Null. That's pretty cool. I don't think that's in mint condition though. It's got some issues here on the side. It's too bad. I only picked it up for like a dollar a couple years ago at Comic-Con, but uh, it does probably, I'd be lucky if it grades an eight, but it's better to have it than not have it. Venom five. That's a cool cover, Venom five. Six. That's a nice one. Venom 7 variant. It's the first uh, cameo appearance of Dylan Brock. It's a really cool cover. That one might be worth sending in. I gotta look at that one a little bit closer. I got two of those. That's pretty sweet. There we go. There's another Venom 7. First, first print. Without the tongue though. No tongue. Ooh, look at that. There's two of them. I have a couple of these graded, too, at the house. And three. This one's signed by Donnie Cates, too. Nice. Look at that. That's awesome. I forgot I had that. I got a lot. Five of those books. If you guys are uh, looking for Venom 7, I don't know. Maybe we could work something out. There's another 7. Uh, Virgin Variant. Venom 8. There's a Venom 9 variant edition. I forget what that book is all about, the cover on it. Villains, Fantastic Four, not sure. I don't remember. But it's still a variant edition of number nine, first full appearance of Dylan. I got the other Venom 9s at the house already. I think I sent most of them and get them graded. There's that Watchmen variant. I got a bunch. I bought a bunch of those at the time. I was hoping those would be worth more money, but I don't think there's a lot going on in there. Venom Eleven. I picked up so many of these Elevens. That's a cool cover. I always thought that kind of looked like Alien <laughs> in the back, but it's, it's definitely not Alien. There's another one. 12, Sp Fighting Spider-Man. It's a variant cover. That's pretty nice. And 13. 13. 13. Ton of 13s. You got 17, Absolute Carnage. A couple of those. That's a badass variant right there. Immortal variant. It's a wraparound cover. It actually goes around, and the other side is... Uh, Eddie's face. Then I'm 19. 19, 19, 20. Bunch of those. I had these on the pull list and I was getting like six at a time because I was waiting for something big to happen with Dylan. That's a nice cover. Then I'm 22. Nice red and black color. That's probably look good getting it slabbed. Got a couple of those. Venom Island. Bunch of those. Anybody else collect Venom comics? <laughs> I think I went a little overboard. That's a cool movie. Movie Venom cover. I don't know. Some people didn't like the Venom movie. I happened to, uh, I didn't mind it. I've seen it a couple times. Venom 1 Annual. Another annual, number one. That's an awesome Venom book right there. Annual number one. I think it's a Clayton Crane cover. That's really nice. It's another nice uh, Venom cover. Venom the End. That's cool. Carnage Born, Cult of Carnage, I love my Venom goodness, it's kind of a cool Venom cover, Venom Nom, <laughs> Venom Unleashed, 
That's a nice Venom book right there. Venom pulling Carnage apart. Really nice. Nice uh, variant cover. A couple of those. The Good Son. Bunch of those books. I thought that was going to be a good book. And then we go into War of the Realms. But So that's about it for the storage unit. I uh, just wanted to come by and grab that X-Force book, uh, which I'm really glad there was a Deadpool card in there because I did not know I had one. But I figured out of the five or six books that I did have of that uh, X-Force 1 still sealed, I was bound to have one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the Venom collection, which I do have uh, a lot of the good ones at my house already graded, uh, which was the a lot of the sevens and the nines. But, you know, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I'm not going to keep you guys too long. Don't forget to subscribe. Important, subscribe. Uh, and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your Saturday. This might not be my last video this weekend, but keep an eye open.